So welcome. This is the fifth uh, installment of um, Anu and Sinead Okana, who passed away late last week, and so much amazing music. Uh, a portfolio of like, what are we talking about? Since 1989, I think, right? That was when her first album came out. Uh, and then the big one um, that hit in 1991, which is I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got, that catapulted her into stardom. Uh, and so, yeah, we're talking about 30 plus years of an amazing storied career. Uh, and yeah, so now we're down to the fifth song. And you already know what it is because, you know, you saw the titles and you might be like, really? Where's Mandika? Where's Jackie? Where's, um, you know, uh, no one could pass to you and like that. If you know this channel, if you've been following this channel, if you're new, then maybe you don't understand. Uh, but, um, I celebrate the world of obscurity. I just do. And I don't do it on purpose. Like, I don't, it's not a gimmick or novelty. Um, if you actually really do know me, if you've been following this channel for a while, hopefully you know that it's, it's my DNA. You know, I mean, I appreciate the big hits. I do, you know, but so do a lot of people on YouTube. Uh, and that's why when you go to a lot of reaction channels, that's what you hear all the time. You know, and you, you're hearing nonstop, no one compares to you, uh, Mandika, um, you know, right down the line. Um, but I, I'm i not sure how much these last, the, the four songs leading up to this one and this one too. Um, this one I definitely had been seeing a little bit here and here and there. Um, a little bit of Dear John. Definitely I'm stretched across your grave, right? Um, I'm stretched on your grave. I'm bad with song titles. It's documented on his channel for two and a half years. So go check that out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so those are kind of popular ones. But even those, they're kind of against the grain a little bit. You know, there's her big hits. And those are the ones you're seeing on so many, you know, social media channels, YouTube channel. You know, just that's the music you keep hearing all the time. And she just has so much more great stuff. Um, so anyway, so this song is, uh, I love it. I, it's my favorite one, and that's saying a lot. Why is it my favorite one? Uh, on the other side. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you for loving me. 
I love the song. I mean, it's not one reason why I love the song. It's not just the lyrics. It's not just the music. It's 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 all of it. Um, it's another song where she poured her heart out. This whole album, Universal uh, Mother, I believe that is the name of the album uh, that this is off of. If I you <laughs> Universal Mother, right? That's what I said. <laughs> it's my favorite one. Uh, from beginning to end it is my favorite album uh, with Red Football and John, I Love You and um, uh, Fire, Fire on ba Babylon and right down the line. And this song was just like, you know, the masterpiece, the last song on that album. And it personified, I mean, that is who Sinead Akana was. You know, someone who put her heart on her sleeve, put everything, emotion in, put all the self into um, whether it's her music or whether it's something that she believes in and she's going to stand up and she's going to speak out and then she's going to get, you know, smacked around for it. But then she would just have that fortitude and move forward and say, I don't care what you think, you know, this is how I feel and this is what I'm going to say, and, you know, and I don't care what you think. Um, and about relationships, you know, um, kind of seemed like she had a really big heart and she, you know, when she fell for someone, she fell for someone. Uh, and then, you know, a lot of times it didn't work out. Uh, but when it was happening, she was giving her whole entire self. And so this song, I, my understanding is uh, based on her brief relationship with Peter Gabriel. And to me, again, this is her persona. I mean, it really does represent who Sinead was, um, you know, where she sings... Thank you for hearing me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for seeing me. And for not leaving me. Thank you for staying with me. Thanks for not hurting me. All right. So, so far, so good. That that sounds really good. You know, <laughs> where's the bad stuff? Uh, you are gentle with me. So she's acknowledging, you know, she's she's not like guns are blazing and going to rip him a new one, you know, and saying, uh, just because we broke up, that you sucked, that, you know, you did me wrong, you did me bad, you know, I hate you. No, she's coming out of this, um, reflecting back uh, and seeing, you know, recognizing and being honest and saying, you know, you did all this for me. Thanks for silence with me. All right. Sometimes less is less is less said is better. Um, you don't always have to say something. Thank you for holding me and saying I could be. Right. Uh, thank you for saying baby. Right. I could be believing in her. Thank you for saying baby. You know, that's kind of romantic, you know, and affectionate. Uh, thank you for holding me. Um, all that's consistent, right, with love and loving her and believing in her. Uh, thank you for helping me. Thank you for breaking my And then she just ramps it up at the end. Right. Thank you for breaking my heart. Thank you for tearing me apart. And you're like, oh, this is it. You know, she's absolutely, she just set him up and she's just dumping it right on him. And then she says, now I'm a strong, strong heart. And thank you for breaking my heart. That was Sinead O'Connor. You know, she she would get battered and bruised um, and she would come out of it uh, stronger. That was her. That's, I mean right to her last breath. Uh, and she had a lot of hardship. I mean, she just lost her son um, about a year ago, or was it less than a year ago? I don't know how you recover from something like that. Um, that strong, strong heart, I think that's there's only so much it could take, though. And I truly believe that and why she's not here with us anymore. Uh, but a beautiful soul, beautiful person, uh, an amazing artist, voice like an angel, but could also be searing and could just go right through you and just, you know, lift you up, throw you around, slam you back down in the ground. And then she's whispering right back at you. And she could do that all in one song. Ah, it's amazing. Like this one. Uh, so that is, this sort of wraps up uh, my uh, uh, honoring an amazing artist, Sinead Akana. Uh, so sad, but she has amazing music for us to listen to uh, forever. 
to eternity. Uh, and with that said, uh, thank you so much. And this doesn't mean the end of Sinead Akana on his channel. Um, there'll be more. There'll be more. Uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and listening. And I'll see all of you on the next episode of Into the Music.